lose weight, lose weight, lose, lose weight. If you're new here, hello, this channel is all about me and my greasy nose and my fertility journey and trying to conceive rainbow baby number one. If you're returning, hey y'all. Let's <laughs> talk about fat people and fertility because I have a problem with this, okay? I'm a fat girl, period. Look at that. You see that stomach? You see that butt? I'm losing a little bit of weight. <laughs> I look kind of good. But you see, like she's thick, okay? She's a thick girl. But she wants to have a baby. So why can't I? Basically, I have struggled with my weight forever. Just, we have the fat gene in my family, okay? And I never thought it would impact my fertility, but it's always had its factor in my medical journey. So I've been told I'm morbidly obese since I was like seven. Now, mind you, those scales for BMI, I do not adhere to those. I don't give a damn what anyone says. You, my doctor, nobody can tell me that I am supposed to be, like my body is physically made up genetically different than a white woman's body. So why would I go and adhere to those standards that weren't made for my people? Those need to be adjusted for pe different people. You don't see po Polynesian people aren't built like white women either. We're never gonna be on those scales, bro. So change the damn scales. I rewrite that. Like, we're so outdated. The medical field can be so outdated. You know, it's supposed to be one of the most advanced fields ever. Like, if that exists. It's just not. So whatever. I don't adhere to those at all. I'm 5'9", I weigh a lot. I ain't gonna say my weight. <laughs> but it's, I'm big. Um, but I don't feel like that should stop me from wanting to try to conceive. Yes, losing weight would benefit me, but outside of fertility, it would it benefits me for several other reasons. I've noticed when I get when I do gain weight, I snore louder and I get sleep apnea. I now have sleep apnea, um, which is not good. Uh, but when I'm smaller, I don't snore. But at my thinnest, which is which was 200 pounds, I was so lean. I'm very tall. I had a bobble head, my bones were showing. I look very frail. Cause even though I'm big, I'm like, this sounds really weird. The people in my family are big, but when we're small, we're petite. So I'm like bones when I'm really small. Uh, I still was snoring. So do I gotta get down to 120, 140? Like that does not look good on me and I'll never be that weight. So we're all get over it. But I've had several doctors tell me in so many words, they haven't said it outright that I've miscarried cause I'm fat. My mama has seven kids and she has been fat for most of them. So don't tell me fat people. I know plenty of fat people who have had very healthy births, but people treat us like the other, or there are some um, instances where a gynecologist won't even see or a fertility doctor won't even see a fat person because it's like a risk. What? So you're telling me I have to lose 120 pounds just for you to even like take me in? No girl, you're gonna take me in now. We're gonna stop being prejudiced against people with more fat on their bodies. And we're gonna try to advance medical care to be able to take a holistic picture at us all. So this last miscarriage I had, um, I was upset because she was like, okay, she gave me the misoprosol to do the home abortion or whatever. And she was like, yeah, my recommendation would be to lose like 50 pounds. When I was 50 pounds lighter, I still had a miscarriage. So what are you talking about? I need you guys to stop using fatness as a weapon for women who have, or people who have more weight on their bodies who have issues. No one's checking my asthma. No one's checking to see if I have like a coagulant disorder, which they did, but there's so many other factors that could be attributing to my miscarriages outside of me being fat. No one has done a sperm analysis on Trey. I've done every genetic test you could find. I did a parental karyotype test. All of my shit is normal as fuck. I don't have diabetes. I don't have hyper, hypo or hyperthyroidism. I'm just simply fat. My estrogen and uh, progesterone, last time I checked, normal. 
So stop saying that by egg quality, whatever, normal. How about we, do we look for my uterus? No one's ever measured the lining of my uterus. No one's ever done that stuff. I have one HSG. There aren't even like other options they're saying, like maybe you wanna do like IVF or something. No one's recommending this. It's always lose weight, lose weight, lose, lose weight. Girl, if that was like the answer, fat people would not have kids at all. I'm so tired of the war on fat bodies. I'm so tired of a fat phobic society. And that's all the way down to even like the care and the doctor. Not everybody can fit on those uh, the layback beds. No one's thinking about that. Not everyone can, not everyone is comfortable with the same level of care you give to regular sized people. That shit's not cool. It's not cool at all. And to blame everything on fatness is just lazy. It's lazy. How aren't you doing the work to see what's really up with me? But you just want me to lose weight. Everything's all about losing weight. Honey, there are people more than half my size who have the same exact issue. So what the fuck are you telling them? What? Exactly. So I'm just like, it's astounding to me how everything is blamed on me being fat instead of looking deeper into what's going on in my body. I have tried, I have made sure all my doctors on every level have all my medical records. And my primary care doctor has repeatedly said, you are so healthy, your blood pressure is normal. I don't know, there's no other reason why you should be miscarrying. I'm also just built different. I'm huge, like as far as the number on the scale, it's, it's large. But I don't look it because my body just falls into place different. So you're still telling me that I can't have a baby. Bitch, these hips are made for a baby. Look, they are wide. I'm a brick house. Stop blaming fatness for your laziness, doctors. And you people on the internet telling a woman who just had a miscarriage that she's too big or we're too big to carry, you deserve to get kicked in your fucking face. You're wild for that. I don't give a damn who this offends. You should, first of all, don't you ever fix your goddamn lips to come on anyone's video who's being vulnerable to share about a miscarriage to blame it on anything. If someone told me because, uh, like I was drinking in my two week wait or whatever, if someone said, well, maybe that's why you lost the baby because you were drinking, bitch, I will, I will find you and we will squabble, we'll squabble it out. Cause one thing you're not gonna do is gaslight me, okay? One thing you're not gonna do is put your negative thoughts and ugly behavior on me. I miscarried because that soul chose not to come down for whatever reason. That egg probably wasn't viable for whatever reason. That sperm probably had a defect in it or it just was not time. Don't, don't you ever reason why another woman had a miscarriage. That is enough on that person to reconcile with. And here you come with your stupid ass opinions and stupid ass judgments. You're crazy. Anyone who would sit there and type that out should literally be kicked in the back of their head every day. Disgusting. And I just like, I pray for all fat, plus size, black women, because I, especially when it comes to our medical care, because I feel like we are the lowest on the totem pole when it comes to care, when it comes to pain management, everything. And to me, it goes all the way back to racism, where black women were seen as the mammy and the wet nurse and the, and the, and the, and the, the foundation and being strong. So that's still, we're still those caricatures in a way in some people's minds. And it's like, we're caricatures in people's minds subconsciously. So of course we have to like go the extra mile to advocate. When you have other women, and this is not to be rude, but white women seen as frail and fragile and meek and they need help. Me as a strong black woman, ah, I can take it, yeah, yeah, yeah. My motherfucking pussy's falling out, but it doesn't hurt. Yeah, bitch, it hurts. Give me my medicine. I want a baby too. Suggest me to go to the finest 
doctors. I have good health insurance, kind of. The military pays for everything, bitch. Go send me to the best clinics and the best doctors. Y'all gotta stop using fatness as a weapon for your laziness, period. And if you are fat phobic, like really internalize that, cause fat people can be fat phobic too. I've had my fair share of years being fat phobic. Now I just embrace every single body type, every single person, every experience, cause you don't know what the fuck people are going through. So mind your fucking business, first of all. Second of all, be sympathetic or empathetic, whatever the word is, cause you don't know people's struggle. I could look like this because I, I had a horrible accident and I was trying to get the weight off. Or I could look like this simply because I want to. I like being fat. Be, me being fat has triggered my confidence 10,000. No one can tell me I'm not the hottest B word in the world. Period. So yeah, that was kind of a lot. But it's just, I get mad. I get so angry when I think about stuff like this because it's like, bruh. Just cause I'm fat don't mean I don't deserve to have a baby. And you better take the best care of me, especially if I'm paying you, period. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're a fat black woman, sound off in the comments. We are here to stay. Or if you're just a woman who is not fat phobic, or not even a woman, if you're a person who is not fat phobic and you understand or you want to understand and you want to be an advocate, sound off in the comments. And just all of us, we just gotta do another level of self-awareness and thinking. That's it. All right, y'all, hit that notification bell wherever it's at. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye.